Hi, my name's Dave from thegadgethelpline.com and I'm here to show you the Nokia Lumia 800 today. We're going to do a video review. So it's Nokia's first smartphone to run Windows Phone 7.5, aka Mango. They've developed it alongside Microsoft to be a flagship handset. So we've got a unibody polycarbonate design, so you can't remove the battery. It's all one piece. It's smooth, it's sleek, it's a nice design, it's curved on the edges. Got it curved up here, curves around the edges, and the screen itself curves slightly. I don't know if you can just see that there. It all in all makes it a nice handset to hold. It looks great as well. So along the bottom of the screen here, we've got the uh, three Windows Phone buttons. They're touch capacitive, so we've got Back, Home, or the Windows button, and Search. Uh, on the left side here, as we've just seen, no buttons at all. It's completely smooth. On the top, we've got the 3.5mm headphone jack and we've got micro USB and a micro SIM slot which are uh, quite cleverly designed. You simply push down here to see the micro USB for charging and synchronizing and the micro SIM card slot is quite clever. You slide it across and it pops out and you've got that there. So I'm not going to take it all the way out, put that back in, it slides back across. It's quite a neat design to keep it flush and, and hidden in the side of the phone. On this side we've got uh, three chrome buttons here, we've got the volume rocker up and down, the power and lock button and the camera key, so it's nice and simple. On the bottom, again nothing there, just a speaker grill. And if we turn it around for the back, you've got the 8 megapixel Carl Zeiss Tessar lens, which is capable of recording video at 720p HD quality, and the LED flash. Uh, the back of the, the, uh, the handset here, as you can probably see, it's quite prone to smudge and finger marks. It's got like a, a smooth coating there, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, the handset is also available in, in cyan blue and magenta pink. I doubt those two handsets, those colours, would have that same problem. So on the whole, it's a great looking phone. Nokia have done really well with the design and we're a big fan of it. Obviously the star of the show is the uh, Microsoft's Windows Phone 7.5 Mango software. So we're going to turn the handset on and uh, take a look at that now. So we're going to fire up the handset here so we can take a look at Windows Phone. And while we're just doing that, we'll quickly go through the specs. We've got a 3.7 inch Super AMO LED screen, which is covered with a protective sheet of Corning's Gorilla Glass, which makes it nice and tough. Um, inside, we've got a 1.4 gigahertz Scorpion processor, 512 megabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of storage, uh, we've got the usual connectivity, so Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and GPS. Uh, on the front here, we're missing the front-facing camera, so unfortunately no access to things like Skype. Uh, we've got here, you may be able to make it out there, a, a proximity sensor. So the handset is now fired up. We've got the familiar home screen of Windows Phone 7.5, also known as Mango. We've got the live tile system, so you can see tiles are moving, so you've got the People, which is your contacts app. It's constantly changing to show you different pictures for your contacts there. Uh, we've got phone, messaging, and various other tiles which you can add as you go along, which I'm really a fan of. Uh, the pictures tile as well is also constantly changing. Um, and as I said, you can pin apps that you've downloaded from the marketplace onto the front screen. So I've got here Spotify, which is showing what I'm listening to. Um, I also have added Facebook, WhatsApp, and Seismic, which is Twitter and Facebook. So if we swipe across here, we can see the list of applications. Nokia have worked with Microsoft to add some great applications from the off. You've got British Airways, you've got eBay, and you've also got some more further down the list. You've got Sky News and TripAdvisor. Uh, any apps that you download from the market are also added onto here. Uh, so you can see my apps that I've downloaded as well. Uh, we've also got app highlights from Nokia, which will give you a section of uh, Windows Marketplace with some apps that they've sort of highlighted and picked out for you. And you've got Contacts Transfer, which is great for those of you who are transferring from an older phone. It helps you easily set up Bluetooth and transfer everything across from your older phone. And of course, when you add on your mailboxes from Hotmail and, and Google Mail, those are added here, and you can add those as tiles to the Start menu. So with tiles, all you would need to do if you wanted to add something to the home screen is tap and hold. You get the option to uninstall or pin to start, so it's nice and easy. If we pin to start, it's added there. And you can simply tap and hold and move it around. You can put it anywhere on the home screen that you wish. So that's nice and simple to set up. 
it's a cool feature uh, with Windows Phone. So a lot of the software on the Nokia Lumia 800 is standard to Windows Phone 7.5, but Nokia have worked really hard to get some extra added value on here and some great software. Three examples of that, we've got Nokia Drive, Nokia Maps and Nokia Music. So we're going to check those out now. We've got Nokia Drive first up, which is uh, a basic sat-nav application uh, created by Nokia. Nice and easy to use, you've got street level mapping, which you can zoom uh, out and in. Uh, you've got GPS here, uh, it's really easy. You can just go on set destination, you can search for an address or a place, which is pretty cool. I've recently searched for McDonald's, which is probably quite terrible of me. Um, so you search for, for instance, a shop or a street if you're going directly to a house. Um, Nokia Drive will bring up locations, shops relevant to your search. You can simply tap on one and it will load it straight into the maps. Drive to, it will create the route and you get a simple GPS application, uh, SatNav, which will drive you to your location. Uh, it's not the best, but it is nice. It's nice and simple, which I found, which is pleasant. A lot of SatNav applications are too complicated. So that's Nokia Drive. And we're going to take a look again. Uh, we've got Nokia Maps, which is similar to Google Maps for Android or iOS. Pinpoints your location. You can zoom in with pinch to zoom and zoom out, which is nice. Uh, possibly the coolest part of this application I found when I was using it in London the other day, you can change the map to highlight public transport, so that points out key uh, underground and bus routes, which is really helpful. And you've got satellite as well, so you can zoom right in at street level, and you can view b buildings, uh, streets around you, which is helpful to, uh, to help you find where you are if you're lost, which I was. Uh, so that's uh, Nokia Maps, a simple application. And finally, we've got Nokia Music which is a reworked version of uh, some music software Nokia used before. Uh, it comes with music with the Express Music Symbian smartphones. So on here you've got My Music, which is music you have added to the phone. Uh, you've got Mix Radio, MP3 Store, Gigs. And we're going to take a look through here now. So as with the, the Windows Phone 7.5 uh, user interface, you swipe through. You've got Your Music, which will be listed here. It's none loaded at the moment. Mix Radio, which is a great feature. It allows you to search online, uh, listen to online radio stations. It will make recommendations based on what you like, what you listen to, which you can tell it when you start. You can create playlists, and just like Spotify, you can save those playlists offline, so you can listen to them when you don't have a, a 3G or Wi-Fi data connection. So that's a really cool feature. You've got the MP3 store here, which you can purchase tracks much like iTunes. Those, those go into My Music. And this is possibly the coolest feature for me. Uh, Nokia Music will use your GPS and your location to find you up and coming gigs, live music in and around your area, and it will suggest them for you. So you've got dates, the band, where it is, how far away. If you tap on one of those, it'll tell you who it is, where it is. You can swipe across, you can even buy tickets. That'll take you directly to TicketWeb's website or various other ticket uh, resellers and you can purchase that online so it's really easy very cool feature so that's Nokia music so aside from Nokia's added applications Windows Phone 7.5 is a great operating system Microsoft have worked at adding extra features along with the three capacitive touch buttons at the bottom here if you long press each of those buttons you'll get a different feature so with Windows Phone 7.5 you can now multitask and to do that to view your open applications and recently used apps you tap and hold on the back arrow and you can swipe through here you can view your apps as tiles simply tap on one to open it and you're back into a recent application unfortunately with Windows Phone 7.5 there isn't a way to close your applications I thought perhaps as with WebOS you could swipe them off the screen or you might be able to tap and hold and you'll get a sub menu to close them that isn't the case but Windows Phone will close applications if they're not used for a certain amount of time so that's multitasking with the back arrow so moving across we've got the Windows key. If we long press the Windows key we'll be taken to a voice search a voice application uh, called Microsoft Tell Me which is their answer to Apple Siri. So you can use that to search for places, search for locations, uh, make telephone calls and send text messages. So we're just going to give that a go and see if we can get it to work. Text John. John Whitcomb. Texting John Whitcomb. Say your message. Hi, I'm going to be late. Sorry. Hi, I'm going to be late. Sorry. You can say send or try again. 
send. So that's the message sent with Microsoft Tell Me. That was actually surprisingly easy. It was pretty flawless. And you can also use it to search the web. As you, you may have seen there, there's an example. You can tell it to search for football scores and various things. And it will go to Bing. It will do a search and it will bring you up the results. It's pretty quick. And you need a 3G or a Wi-Fi connection to do that. But again, it's a great feature with Windows Phone 7.5. And it's one that you'll get on the Nokia Lumia 800. So moving across to the final capacitive touch, we've got Search, which if you long press, it'll take you to Bing. You can tap in the bar at the top, you can do a web search, and along the bottom you've got several options. You can do a voice search, and you've got Vision, which if we tap, you can use this to scan QR codes and Microsoft tags. It's just crashed out, which is unfortunate. So we'll try that again. You can use this to scan QR codes and Microsoft tags, which is really useful. Uh, with Android and with iOS in, in the past, I've had to download QR code readers, but it's right here. You can use it. You can scan your QR codes if you see one, and it'll take you straight to the, the relevant application or website that the code is linked to. Uh, again, you've also got music, which is another cool feature. The phone will listen to music playing in the background, much like you get with applications like SoundHound. You don't have to rush through, download an application, open it up. You can simply tap on search and hit the music icon and it will do a search for the song and it will bring you back the results. You can then listen to the music on the web or download the song through Nokia Music if possible. Finally, we've got Scout, which is a feature uh, Microsoft implemented in Windows Phone 7.5. uses your GPS to search nearby. So we pull up nearby places to eat and drink. If you tap on them, you can get directions through Nokia Drive or Nokia Maps. Uh, things to see and do. We're fortunate to have Longleat Safari Park nearby, so it's picked that up pretty quick got museums, cinemas, all the sort of things that you want to do. So it's really cool if you're out and about, you don't really know where you are, you want to do something. Uh, you bring up Scout, you do a search, and you find the best things to do. Uh, you've also got nearby shops, again, which you can see on the maps above, and highlights, which is sort of the best of what's around you. So that's Scout with Bing Search, another cool feature, uh, and one with Windows Phone 7.5. So overall, we found the Nokia Lumia 800 to be a great smartphone to use. So far, we feel it's the best piece of hardware that a phone manufacturer has developed to utilize Microsoft's Windows Phone 7.5 operating system. It's a solid piece of hardware. It's a great design. It's nice and simple. It's nothing over the top. It's just the right size. It's around about the same size as, as an iPhone. It's not a huge 4.7 inch or 4.3 inch screen. It's a crystal clear screen, great quality for videos, pictures. Uh, speaking of pictures, we've got the eight megapixel camera on the back, which does great quality video and still images. Um, unfortunately, Windows Phone is still developing, so those of you who want a phone for apps would probably go for Android or iOS with the iPhone over this. There are considerably less apps on the Windows Phone marketplace than there are on Android and, uh, and Apple's App Store. But nevertheless, there are still some key apps such as Spotify, Facebook, uh, you've got various Twitter applications. So it's a great phone. Unfortunately. It has been reported there's been battery issues with the phone, uh, so the battery not lasting very long. And uh, There's another issue whereby if the battery cuts out, the phone doesn't seem to come back on. Unfortunately, we have experienced that problem with this Lumia 800. The handset has died within around about eight hours of battery life, um, and it's actually taken us to use either a BlackBerry Playbook or a Apple iPad 2 charger, which uses a higher ampage to get the device to turn back on. A standard micro USB charger won't do the trick. Nokia are aware of this and they're going to fix this with a soft software update soon, which is great. So other than that, it's been a fantastic phone and one that we would thoroughly recommend to use. I've been Dave from the Gadget Helpline and this has been our video review of the Nokia Lumia 800. We hope you've enjoyed it. If you want more news on the handset and on Windows Phone, don't forget to check us out at blog.gadgethelpline.com and on Twitter, gadget underscore helpline, and of course on Facebook as well. Thanks for watching.